a professional wildlife and wedding photographer, I take thousands of photographs each year. And like most photographers, whether professional or amateur, there are always a number of images that, for various reasons, are not the perfect shots envisioned when I hit my shutter button. I call them my 90% shots, nearly there, but needing attention and post-processing to turn them into good, usable images. Also, I shoot in raw format, so every image I keep needs to be processed to make sure they are of the highest possible quality. And this takes up a whole bunch of time and effort, so any program that can seriously reduce my time in post-processing is absolutely invaluable to me. Now, last year, I came across three apps that have turned my workflow upside down, saving me many hours at my computer whilst vastly improving all of my 90% images and unexpectedly turning many of my good images into great images. In the next three videos, I'll be sharing a walkthrough of these game-changing apps, demonstrating their effectiveness using my own images in real time. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss what's coming up. It may well reduce and improve your workflow forever. Hi, I'm Ken Hatfield. Welcome to my Better Photography channel. Over the last 10 years, I've probably bought or tested every app on the market in search of a high quality, easy to use program at an affordable price. Most offered a lot, but delivered only a little, until a year ago when I came across the Topaz AI suite of apps, developed to provide maximum photo quality for the least effort. Topaz Denoise AI, Topaz Sharpen AI and Topaz Gigapixel AI have taken the photo community by storm with great comments and reviews and now I use them exclusively for all my noise reduction, sharpening and enlargement needs. Now I need to point out that I have no association with Topaz whatsoever. I have no commercial reward for recommending the software, I'm not an affiliate and my motivation for making these videos is based purely on my experience using the apps and a desire to share the benefits I've enjoyed with my friends and followers online. This first video is a walkthrough of Topaz Denoise AI, where I'm going to demonstrate in real time with a video screen capture as I use the app on one of my recent images. Now, this is not a full tutorial. There are lots out there to view. It's only a short video to prove how easy and effective this app is, and hopefully it will inspire viewers to download and try it for themselves. However, even just this short introduction will give enough information for anyone to use the app immediately. It really is that simple. So let me show you how I use Denoise AI as a Photoshop plugin. So I'm here at my desk now, and what I'm going to try and do is just give a run through of the three apps to show you how I use them in my workflow, and just to show you just how much time you can save by using these three apps, which in many cases take the decision making off your hands by offering you up suggestions of what the image could be like if you use the, this particular software. It's an amazing thing. This particular image I took last year in Africa, it's already heavily cropped and if I wanted to, to make an enlargement out of this then I would probably fall into some kind of troubles. As you can see the noise increases as you zoom in. So what I'm going to try and do is get rid of as much of that noise as possible and to do that I'm going to go into Topaz Denoise AI and by opening up that it takes a second to, to, to come through and one thing you'll notice when it comes up is that the actual interface itself is beautifully clean. There's not loads and loads of buttons, dials, sliders and switches to play with. It, what it's going to do, it's going to examine the image and it's going to bring suggestions to you of how you can improve the image without going into an enormous amount of work. So I just want to give you an idea of the controls here. The original button at the top here, that's what you use when you started your processing. I mean, basically it switches between your original image and the one that's been processed to give you an idea of what the, the, pro the program has actually done to the image. I've got it here you know, on full screen here. You can then do a split view, which is really useful because you can then drag the cursor along and see more of the image and see more of the effect. My uh, personal favorite is a side by side. Again, it is great because on the left hand side, 
you have the original image and on the right hand side it shows you what it's done with the image and the fourth one here is quite clever it's what's called a comparison view now if you look down to this side here the AI models there offers you several different models it gives you four different versions of the image each slightly different from the other standard clear low light severe noise I don't really bother much about the title on this I just look at the image and see what it's done to the image to decide whether or not it's processed uh, correctly and whether it has done its job and removed the noise so basically looking at the images here on my computer and I can zoom in a wee bit there and bring it down and now that's the original and that's the effect the original and the model so I'm looking across those four there what I usually try to do is to go to a part of the animal which has some fine detail and, and that gives you the best idea as to whether it's been effective and what I'm looking here is to retain detail retain sharpness but get rid of the noise looking at these my preference would be with clear now what you'll see here is a little green bar here that tells you that the image has been fully rendered and you're seeing it exactly as it would appear if you choose to save it now if we go back to this the side by side view and on this side on the right I've got the clear which I've chosen as my preference and on the other side I've got the original so you can see it's done a really really good job incidentally below the model panel here there's also some additional adjustments can be made from noise removal and sharpness which is something that you really need to play with and on the post processing panel here you can actually recover original details uh, use a, a slider for color noise reduction now all of these you need to play with and here is my most favorite feature that's the auto button this is where the program actually makes the decisions for you and shows you what it thinks is the best setting as you can see what it's done with the image is to make it beautifully free of noise it's probably increased the sharpness of the image which is great so if i just go back to the single view again zoom back out a wee bit and then you can see the original and the one that's been processed and i'm very happy with that i'm happy to proceed apply that and then save it back to photoshop now i have this attached to an app in my photoshop program you can in fact have this as a standalone so you don't have to have photoshop you can bring it in on a standalone app process it and send it back to any software program that you have there's other little thing here is that uh, you can also use a mask i don't use this but it is there if you want it on the mask actually you can select which part of the images you want to have uh, the noise reduction on so if you don't like the noise reduction on the main part of the image you can actually use a mask to remove that and will only remove the noise on parts of the image that you, you want it to remove from so you know, give it a try you know at the end of the day it's a free program for 30 days i'd be very surprised if you weren't deeply impressed at this so you see it's a great intuitive tool giving superb results ultra fast with little or no manipulation required by the user it's also great to see that topaz are constantly refining and revising with regular updates to make the results better and quicker than ever topaz denoise ai is certainly a go-to tool for me and combined with the other two apps, Topaz gives me everything I need to ensure that I can supply my clients images in a quality I can be proud of. Now my next video will demonstrate Topaz Sharpen AI, so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. See you next time on the Better Photography Channel.